Oregon State guard Zach Reichel pulled up from nearly 30 feet, swishing a three-pointer to bury Tennessee basketball by 19 points early in the second half. Tennessee's vaunted defense was blitzed by a hot shooting Oregon State team, and its offense took too long to show up at Indianapolis's Bankers Life Fieldhouse. The once promising Vols season ended with a lousy performance in a 70 56 loss to Oregon State in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Kean Johnson and Jaden Springer led the no. 5 seed Vols, 18 9, with 14 and 12 points, respectively. No. 12-seeded Oregon State hit 10 three-pointers and dominated the Vols in the rebounding battle, 41-34. Tennessee, which was ranked as high as no. 6 in the Associated Press poll, never led Friday in a fitting end to an inconsistent season. Post-game press conference, Vols react to NCAA tournament loss autoplay show thumbnails show captions last slide next slide the three-pointer giveth and taketh away Tennessee missed its first nine three-point attempts Friday, as the Oregon State defense dared the streaky shooting Vols to win from deep. They couldn't, but Oregon State could. Then the Beavers, who shot 43.9% from three-point range in the Pac-12 tournament, buried the Vols from behind the arc. Oregon State hit three straight three-pointers to take a 47-27 lead with 15-19 to play. Oregon State was 7 of 13 on three-pointers in the second half. The Beavers were the second team this season to shoot better than 45% from the field and from three-point range against the Vols, joining USC Upstate. Tennessee hit a pair of threes in the final few minutes, but finished 5 for 26. The Vols were 2 of 13 in the first half when the offense was abysmal. Falls dominated inside by Roman Silva Oregon State Center Roman Silva averaged 5.3 points per game entering Friday and scored 11 points in three games in the Pac-12 tournament. He scored 10 points in a 3:41 stretch late in the first half, stretching Oregon State's lead from 23-11 to 31-14. The senior big man dominated Tennessee. He hit a career-high 16 points with 7.22 to play after making his first eight field goal attempts. No John Fulkerson John Fulkerson did not play for Tennessee after suffering a concussion and facial fracture when Florida forward Omar Payne elbowed him in the head twice on March 12. To understand the grace and pain of John Fulkerson's tumultuous week, start with his mom. The Vols senior watched from the bench after being ruled out prior to the loss. Fulkerson could return to Tennessee next season due to the NCAA granting an extra year of eligibility due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Urosh Plavsik started in Fulkerson's place. He played 10 first half minutes and did not play in the second half. He had one point with three rebounds. Mike Wilson covers University of Tennessee Athletics. Email him at michael.wilson at knoxnews.com and follow him on Twitter at ByMikeWilson. If you enjoy Mike's coverage, consider a digital subscription that will allow you access to all of it.